When you first meet Joshua Graham, he tells you that you're stuck in Zion. Daniel, a fellow new Canaanite, has a map, but Joshua claims that he can't help you right now. You can threaten to use more violent means of acquiring the information from Daniel. Joshua responds with a warning. There are many reasons why that would be a bad idea. I will illuminate three. First, do not believe that because Daniel is a missionary, he is incapable of or unwilling to defend himself. Second, if you harm Daniel or any of the sorrows or dead horses, I will find you. Make no mistake. God willing, you will not leave this valley. I'd like to thank all the new viewers and subscribers to the channel, but a particularly special thank you to viewer Goblin King. He asked if Joshua actually will come after you. For whatever reason, it's never occurred to me to try this before. I have all these save files, I can go back and try almost anything anyway. So why not? I dismissed Follow's Chalk. Joshua won't be too happy. Travel to the Narrows. It's in the narrow. Kill Daniel. <laughs> along with anyone else who wanted a piece of me. And stole the map. I also took a nap to see if Joshua or anyone would kill me in my sleep. No one did. I didn't fast travel. I opted to walk all the way back to the canyon entrance. But besides the occasional hiccup, I was never attacked by Joshua on the way or at the exit. The ending slideshow for the Chaos and Zion ending will play almost the same. The only difference is that the slide for Joshua is missing. Joshua isn't mentioned at all. After the ending, I went back to Zion and walked to Angel Cave. The dead horses are hostile. She seen the deer. But Joshua? Lord, it's a miracle! Man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. He just wasn't there. It was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. So I decided to load up the quick save I made before leaving Zion and ending the DLC. I walked back to Angel Cave again and it occurred to me that Follow Strzok wasn't there last time either. But it was this time. And so was Joshua. Now don't be fooled. I play on very easy so I can very easily make my videos. But even on this lower difficulty, it took two shots to the head with this thing to put him down. After this, I loaded the save again and went back to the Mojave. I walked around a bit to see if maybe Joshua will pop off from behind a rock or something, but he never did. I also tried fast traveling to no avail. Even went to dry wells. That's where Ulysses is from. Home's not what it was. It's not looking too hot. Another viewer, Mad Max Rokontansky, Two days ago, I saw a vehicle that had hauled that tanker. Left a comment that may make for a good idea for a mod. If you leave without killing Joshua, he can show up in the Mojave and attack you. You can kill him, you can loot him, you can even blow him to pieces. But somehow, some way, he shows up and attacks you again. Have this cycle continue forever. Why do this? You have to understand, Graham was the toughest son of a gun anyone around these parts had ever seen. Before Hoover, we had five kill reports on Graham from Rangers and first recon sharpshooters who tried to take him out. There was something about him, though. Menace. Indestructibility. It made everyone afraid of him. Heck, the Praetorians burned Graham four years ago and some of the tribes are still afraid of him. They say the burned man still walks the land, blackens the earth wherever he sets foot. You could say it's lore-friendly. I don't know who's gonna take this idea and run with it. We can't expect God to do all the work. I also went through all of his dialogue again. While there wasn't anything in there that directly suggested any cut content of Joshua confronting you, there's some stuff in there you can use for the mod idea. Don't try to hide from me. You've called down the wrath. This is where the road ends. <sighs> Prepare to meet your maker. God protect me! Lord make me thy instrument! God and liberty! Anyway, that's what I had to say. Twitter, Discord, description box below. Have a nice day.